replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Five minutes after 8 o'clock. Beautiful looking Monday morning. Hope you're doing well. Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center, getting back into the saddle after a four day weekend. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Good. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. Um, it was really good. Just got a lot of stuff done around the house, and uh, that was a big, big project. So. so, I have a sports question for you. And uh, anybody who doesn't know me, just just be easy on me. I, I'm not a sports guy at all, so this might be the dumbest question anybody has ever had. Although that's probably not true. This is probably dumber questions. <laughs> <laughs> but but we went to. Don't uh, sell yourself short, Larry. We went. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I could have a dumber one. We went to. Uh, that's right. Stevie B's, right? Yeah. And sure. and and on the TV, North Carolina State was playing the University of North Carolina. And I knew right. I knew that on WOCA we were playing the FSU versus the Gators, so I said to right. Ro- I said to Robin, "Is the Thanksgiving weekend when the hottest ri- the, the the biggest rivals face each other? Do they always save their big rivalries for the Thanksgiving weekend?" So that's question number one. Is it? Yes, for the most part. Oh, no, uh, he's right. Yes, <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, could, uh, yeah. well, and no, I, I'm not picking on you, Robin, because I don't know. Robin was saying no. The Gators' biggest rival is the Bulldogs, not the not the Seminoles. Yeah. Well, it, it, you know that, and that's why I kind of hedge my bet. It all depends on who you are. For I think, for the most part, um, if you're if you're looking at pure rivalry, which game would you rather win? Um, if nothing else mattered, I think you'd rather have the Gators be for uh, the Seminoles, but. I, Robin's not wrong. I mean, if you're looking inside the SEC, then that Georgia game's more important. Yeah, but Larry's so. totally right, though, because it was. No, I didn't. I was asking because I don't. Well, what do I? I all I knew that on a WOCA we were, we had the two <laughs> Florida teams, and on that TV screen in CVBs was the two North Carolina teams, mm-hmm. and I was thinking, yeah, there are they're, they're both of those Georgia and Florida State are rivals of of the Florida Gators. So who's the so. Bulldogs' rival in their own state? Georgia Tech. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's okay. the two teams. Do they play they this played, weekend? They played. Yeah, oh, okay. no, they played. Uh, they just. I didn't. They just play. No, who Georgia Tech play? I saw Tech playing somebody. Yeah, but they'll play. I think this coming. No, they can't play this weekend because it's the SEC championship. I thought they played each other this weekend. Now you got me messed up. No, I don't know. Well, I, I was. <laughs> so. listen, I was listening to the guys that do. You know, the, the syndicated guys on the radio here in WOCA, and it was, I was amazed how they could just because there was these two guys. The, they were betting, and you know what the prize was? The whoever got the most points at the yeah, end of the. They did play this weekend, Larry. You're, you you messed me up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Larry's but, right. But well, I was Georgia won thirteen seven. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was like, man, didn't I watch some of that game? All right, there you go. <laughs> but see, I was amazed, and I'm sure yeah. you could do the same thing. How they could bet and and make and uh, you know intelligent conversation about all of the teams, because mm-hmm. I have I would have hard enough time following one, let alone all of. I mean, they were naming well, teams mm-hmm. from California. Mm-hmm. Holy mackerel! Mm-hmm. I mean, they really knew. But well, the, I mean, there's not that many of them, and they play every week, so it makes it a little easier. And you have to remember, there are more people, and and when you think about this, it's it's going to be shocking and not shocking at the same time. There are more people covering college football as far as reporters go than they cover the you know the the nomination for president and and the you know the the election process. <laughs> well, it's maybe more interesting. So, do you agree with the comment that no, they made? I, yeah, they made the comment that co- comment? college football is about the coach, not the players. You agree with that? Uh, yeah, more so than probably. I think football in general, the coach is more important because there are more players. But in college football, the coach is everything. They're the recruiter. 
Um, they're the they're the guys who who develop their players. Yeah, I think the coach is everything. So the coach is the star. You can see that because there are some coaches who could just go to a program where there was nothing and make it something. I mean, look, you look at Spurrier, what he did at Duke, and and then what he did at Florida, and what he did at South Carolina, and then you look at Urban Meyer and what he did at Utah, and then what he did at Florida, and now what he's doing at Ohio State. Those are just two examples, but the coach makes it. And then you look at the, some of the coaches who have come to uh, after some of these great coaches and how much how hard they struggle and how poorly they do. Yeah, the coach is everything in college football. So the whole the whole rivalry thing uh, got me interested. So I, I I looked it up and I found an article on ESPN.com in which they talk about the ten greatest rivalries in sports, not just football, but in sports. Yeah. And they also included uh, the ten that they wish still existed. So um, yeah. I, w- I want to do both of those with you. The ten that they wish still sure. existed and the ten current ones. <laughs> this, is, right. this should be fun. Um, the first, how is the blood supply? What do we need to know now that the Thanksgiving weekend is behind us? Yeah, it was a long weekend. Um, we didn't collect as well as we wanted to. So we are we are pretty down. We're, we're, we're down to a little less than a two-day blood supply. Um, which is not where we want to be. So just get out there and give the gift of life and donate blood. We need all types. So just please give the gift of life. Donate blood. And if you get a chance, go to Penn Flooring and tell them that you appreciate the fact that they sponsor Galen Unold and Life South every weekday morning here on WOCA. They have some beautiful flooring for you to consider putting in your own home. Mm-hmm. I might want to do this myself. Yes. <laughs> I have. Uh, I definitely need a new carpet. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty ratty. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, but they've got more than carpet. They've got wood flooring, tile. They've got um, that fake wood flooring that looks like like we have here in the bathrooms. Here yes. we have it looks like brick. Yeah, and it it's, does. it's this high quality linoleum. linoleum. Yeah. Go check it out. They have a showroom at twelve oh one Southwest Seventeenth Street, just over the McKay Williams Bridge, which is a few blocks from. Pine Avenue, and also thank the folks at Palm Garden. We went to Palm Garden when Saturday. did we go? Saturday, Saturday, and we just had such a great time. We played music for them, Galen. Christmas, uh, Christmas music, yes. Yeah, religious just, and not religious. Yes, we do. We do that's throw. We do both. It is kind of fun. It's it's the only time you ever get to do them. So yeah, <laughs> unless we have a Christmas in July show, that'll be novel. It, isn't it hard to play non-religious uh, music during Christmas? Is it hard to? Yeah, no. Christmas is about Christ. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, he, <laughs> no, no, it's not hard no, we, to. We play both. No, we play Jingle Bells. We play Smokey the Snowman or whatever it's called. Frosty. Frosty. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we do all of those. But, but the issue we had with this was from Rainbow Springs. Yes. Now, before I say anything, here's my disclaimer. I love Rainbow Springs, and I love the people over there. It wasn't their decision. But when they invited us one year to play Christmas songs over there, they said you can't play cr- cr- uh, religious. religious Christmas songs. So we said, oh, well, then we're not playing. Exactly. So we backed out of that one. So th- all they wanted was Frosty and Jingle Bells and, yeah, you know, Chestnuts. Yep. No, the they most did, wonderful time yeah, of the year. They didn't want Joy to the World and, 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 the, and the other ones. God you know? rest you merry gentlemen and all that. Nope. So we said, no thanks. I mean, they've got Santa over the rainbow. They do a great job. But... You know, Christmas is about Christ, and we're not going to, you know, compromise our beliefs just to play, you know, non-Christian songs. So don't get Robin started again. We didn't go. We didn't play. (laughs) No, good for her. I I I wonder why. I wonder what the rationale behind that. Because it's a state park. Yeah, it's a state park. I know. I'm with you. Political. I. I, That's not. We're going to get on. We're going to get sidetracked. But I. I don't understand that when people say that. It's like, well, God is on all our money. God is in our constitution. He's in our laws. I mean, okay. Whether you believe in him is up to you. Yeah, doesn't I don't change know. that he's there. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let me tell you something, though. When we played at Palm Garden, <laughs> we, we did Silent Night. Listen to this. When you do a song that they really, really know and they sing along with it, mm. it's, it's like angels. Mm-hmm. I mean, the whole, oh. the whole room lifts because we're not the only two oh, people great. singing. We, we've got 40 sure. people singing. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. And you sound it's better. Beautiful. Sound a lot better. <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. Sound a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so let, let me uh, let's see. So so thank the folks at Palm Garden. Also, they have an event coming up. You'll hear a commercial for that in just in, in about a minute, actually, um, called Light Up. Light Up Palm Garden. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> probably more to it than that. That's the old room I had to fit on the computer. All right, so when we come back, Galen, the ten greatest rivalries yeah. currently, according to ESPN, and the ten that they wish still existed. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that break. Let me start this thing early. On. Okay. Just, oh, it started by itself. Yeah. Look at that. It's okay. perfect time. Nice. All right. We'll be right back with Galen Unold and the Life South Community Blood Center and the greatest sports rivalries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding music to it. Yeah, sure. I'm adding a vocal. <laughs> <laughs> Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for Monday times of clouds and sunshine. High 78 to 82. And partly cloudy Monday night, there may be a shower along the coast, low 64 to 68. Tuesday times of clouds and sun and warm with a shower or two in the area, the high 79 to 83. For Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a chance of a shower, high 80 to 84. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Come to Palm Garden on Wednesday, December 9, from 6.30 to 8, and attend the 15th annual Light Up Palm Garden. There will be food, drinks, entertainment, fun, and of course, beautiful lights. There will even be a visit from a jolly old soul who will be available for pictures with the children. Palm Garden is located on the corner of 27th Avenue and 34th Street. See you at Light Up Palm Garden on Wednesday, December 9, beginning at 6.30. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location. 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. 18 minutes after 8 o'clock, 60 degrees. Not a bad looking day out there, huh? Galen, you're driving, but you're not on the interstate yet, right? No, not yet. No. Not yet. So I'll be curious to find out if uh, 329 is uh, still a mess because of that, uh, tr- uh, t- what was it, a dump truck that hit the uh, the underside of it? Something hit it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I doubt it is. I, according to my, uh, what do you call it, app, my Waze app, it says it's clear. So. Oh, okay, okay. By the way, Matt Gibbs will be here later on, and uh, he's got a, a device for sale that's about the size of two VHS because that's, that's how small it is, mm-hmm. and you can use it to jumpstart your car, and, and it lasts for uh, for like a long, long time. That's like, pretty like a, cool. Like a few wow. mu- be, be f- between charges, like three months or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So you don't have to, you don't. It's what? What did he say? One hundred twenty-five dollars? One hundred thirty-five? Yeah, yeah. It I, can't, I can't remember what it is. He'll no. he'll be here later on. He'll tell you. Yeah. To me, that's a gift. That's the cost of a battery. 
<laughs> it's a good. Yeah, gadget. but if you need a battery, you're still going to buy. You have to buy one. But at least this will jump you off without, you know, the the hassle of pulling your car up to somebody's car or the the fear that you're going to ruin your car when you do it. Exactly. All right, here we go. The greatest route. Let me first tell you the ones that they wish were still around. Okay. All right. Yeah. They wish Army and versus Navy was still around. That that rivalry. It is. They just played it a different. They, they it's still there. They played it this weekend. Okay. It says in the forties and fifties they were really rivals more so than now. Oh well, that, you know they're still rivals, but it's just not national championships. Ah, uh, okay. Lakers I mean, versus a, yeah. Celtics or Celtics? What do you say, Celtics? Lakers. Celtics. 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 It's, it's still a rivalry. They're just not as good as they once were. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chris Everett versus Martina Navratilova. <laughs> <laughs> Two tennis players. Texas versus Oklahoma. They wish that one was still around. It is kind of. Uh, they play in in different conferences, but uh, yeah, I agree. That's a that's a good one. <laughs> the next one is a triple uh, rivalry. It's between Willie, Mickey, and the Duke between 1954 and 1957. Baseball's best three best f- center fielders. Yeah. You agree absolutely. with that? One? Who's the yeah. Duke? Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle, Duke Snyder. Oh, okay. Uh, the next one is Richard Petty versus Cale Yarborough. Well, that that's the famous one at Daytona 500. They, you know, they had some epic, epic races where they tumbled around the finish line, and that's what made NASCAR NASCAR. So, the next one they wish yeah, still existed was uh, Packers versus Bears. Uh, they still play. They're, 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 they still play. I don't. Wanna, I don't quite understand that. I mean, their teams aren't as good as they once were but they're also pretty good yeah but it was in it was below zero that famous packers versus bears game in the 60s it was below zero and it was for the super bowl and it was amazing so the the, it's cold so the rival (laughs) rivalry is not the same as it was I guess not because of climate change. No, I, I mean, it, it, it depends on, <laughs> Bill Gates uh, is going to fix that. <laughs> it, it depends on how each team is. If 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 both teams are good, it's it's more important, right? It, it's just both teams are mediocre right now. So, um, here's one: uh, AFL versus NFL. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess back in the day before they played each other, that was a much bigger rivalry, but it wasn't very good until oh, really? Joe Namath won in the Super Bowl, and then it, then each, then they realized, hey, both of these squads are good. So, I, I, that's a, I'm not, I'm not old enough to even appreciate that one. You have to be, you know. Yeah, I am, but I, I still don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to have been a big fan in the 50s and 60s to appreciate that one. Uh, the next one is a horse one, Affirmed versus Aladar. Well, that one's a pretty classic one just because Affirmed always yeah. beat Aladar. I mean, that's and, the, and, the, the and the last one on their Wish They Still Existed list is Jerry Rice versus Deion Sanders. Uh, good rivalry for one-on-one. I mean, yeah, I mean, at least they played against each other several times and so, yeah, okay. I have no problem with that one. All right, I went through not that. where I thought they were going with it, but that's okay. All right, I went through the ones that they wish still existed quickly because I wanted to have more time for the ones that are, that are current. Sure. Okay. All right, so here we go. And this goes down from number 10 to number 1, according to ESPN.com. Uh, number 10, the Giants versus the Dodgers. Yeah, baseball rivalry. It's, 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 as, it's as good as it gets in baseball. Absolutely. For a West Coast... That is as good as it gets. Yeah. No, for West so, ba- Coast. so, so West Coast <laughs> baseball is not as big as the rest of the country. No, 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 no. West Coast sports aren't as big as they are in the East. Oh, really? There's not as many people. They're not as passionate about it. There's a lot more to do other than uh, sports. <laughs> a lot more they to don't. Do they don't. Them. Honestly, they don't. They don't care like they do. Uh, you know, in in New York or Boston or Philadelphia or Chicago or. You know, Gainesville or Jacksonville with their college sports, they just don't care the same. It's just not the same passion. Penn and Teller with their... There are some that are just as passionate, the but where all the passion isn't there. <laughs> Penn and Teller with the, with the parade marshals at the, yeah, yesterday's Hollywood yes, Christmas parade. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> My pen is a big atheist, you know. Yes, he is. Yeah, they're anti-Christmas. <laughs> I know, I know. That's the fun part. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, number nine of the greatest rivalries, Redskins versus Cowboys. Agree. I mean, back in the, uh, the day when they were both, uh, when the NFC East was the best division in football, bar none, those two were at the top of the, of the, of the heap and great games. They hate each other. Huh. And you got Cowboys and Indians. I mean, what's not the... No. Oh, oh, that? that, that's not why there's a rivalry, though, right? It's just a, no, just no, happens to work it, out it that helps. way. Okay. It helps, yeah. Auburn versus Alabama is number eight. I'm surprised. That that should be higher. They're probably going to put Michigan and Ohio State above it, but um, and Florida, Florida State above it, but Alabama, Auburn... They hate each other. I mean, it, and it's not just a daily, it's not just a one time a year thing like it is with some other rivals. They hate each other 365 days a year. <laughs> you are born one way or the other, and you do not change. And they hate you if you're the other way. So <laughs> I, I've seen people not get served in a restaurant because of the hat they were wearing. Oh, wow. oh that's bad. Oh, that's wow. bad. That's true. That's absolutely true. And, and a lot of rivalries will respect one another. Like, if there's a really good player on the other team, like, well, you know, I hate Alabama, but that kid's good. Uh, no, 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 no. They just hate you. And, and uh, yeah, they, they – it's, it's – it's, it's – passionate rivalry. So, so. so yes, the, uh, two days ago we were at Palm Garden and we were playing and there was a, a really old man there and he was just enjoying it. And I was thinking to myself, when I'm that old and I'm sitting there and if somebody comes up to me and mentions the next rivalry, I'm going to think of my old friend Galen Unolt. I'm going to say, I wonder what ever happened to him. <laughs> it's the Yankees Red, so Red Sox. Yes, <laughs> Yankees Red Sox. I'm surprised it's not higher. Uh I think it depends on this. This rivalry will fluctuate between one and ten, depending on where the status of each team. But historical rivals, it's up there with any rivalry in the world. So it's up there with the USA versus USSR. So in my book, as countries or as teams, as, as rivals. Oh, as okay. Rivalries. I see what you're saying. Okay. I mean, they. Yeah. Number six is yeah, Arnold absolutely. Palmer versus Jack Nicholas. Oh, that's a great one. It's a great call. Um, Arnie had all the people that loved Arnie, but Jack Nicholas is the greatest golfer of all time. So I like that one. Hmm. Good call. Number five is the Maple Leafs versus the Canadiens. Uh, and again, uh, <laughs> Canadians love their hockey. They're very nice. <laughs> but when it comes to driving and hockey, they love their hockey. And and I've been to uh, I've been to one game in in Toronto, but they're playing somebody like the some some team from the America like the Coyotes. I think it was the Coyotes, and they just didn't. There wasn't that passion or or fervor. So still, they love their hockey. By the by the way, a little side note: uh, I was watching this Don Rickles interview on Charlie Rose. And and uh, it was a serious interview, even though Don Rickles was was uh, you know cutting up a little bit. But he, but Don uh, but uh, Charlie Rose asked him, "What is it like to be famous at, at his age? Because he's up there. I don't know how old he is. He's way up there." He says, "Well, you know what? It's kind of weird. I, I walk around. And people still call me Hockey Puck. <laughs> 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 hey, hockey Puck." <laughs> uh, number four, Wilt Wilt Chamberlain versus Bill Russell. Mm, great rival. Um way up there. I mean, again, Wilt Chamberlain greatest score. Why is that on today's list, though? I don't understand. Uh, because, I mean, when you look through the history of the... I mean, the same way as Arnold and, and Jack was. I, I don't know why it wasn't one on the previous list. Yeah. I, I mean, know. they played together in the 70s. So, I don't know. Alright, North Carolina versus Duke is number three. Basketball rival? Great. It's It's... it's Again, college rival that, uh, again, they hate each other. And, that, and that's what you really want. You want passion on both sides. And both sides win about the same. Um, Duke has got more national championships, but uh, North Carolina beats them occasionally, and that makes it a good rival. Are you, are you it's gonna, not a rivalry if the other team doesn't win. If, if your rival's son decides to take up boxing, do you, do you go see the movie? <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you any, any intention to see the movie Creed? Apparently it's great. Apparently yeah. there's going to be like Academy Awards. Um, I'd like to see Sounds I, like, yeah, I'd like to I see might, it. I might. I might. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I was a Rocky one through four fan. Um, and after that, they kind of jumped the shark. That's right. Time, That's right. And you times. don't, and you don't need so, to know the rest of them to know this story. 
No, you don't. That's right. Yeah. Well, the math doesn't add up, but as long as you, you know, take that part out. So uh, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier is number two. And because we're running out of time, number one is Michigan versus uh, Ohio State. Oh, Galen was right. Yeah. I have, I have no, I, I understand it. Um, whoever wrote this article is probably from the Midwest. Um, and by the way, that there is one lane closed for the 329 bridge oh, there okay. now. Okay. Oh, um, right. But if if it, it, I'm sorry, the big house doesn't isn't as good as the Iron Iron Bowl, and it's not as good as Florida Florida State. It's not as good as. Uh, some of the other games that are out there, but this person's obviously from the Midwest. <laughs> Kayla, where's the Bloodmobile today? Uh, Bloodmobile today is at the Wind dixie on, uh, right there on State Road 326. Oh, South excellent. South. Yep. Well, nice. be careful. Thank you for what you do, Galen, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, you guys be great. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Fox News Ready Go. I'm Pam Puso. As a global summit on climate control kicks off in Paris, world leaders share a moment of silence for the victims of the recent terror attacks. We offer our condolences to the people of France for the barbaric attacks on this beautiful city. President Obama calling the talks an act of defiance, saying world leaders have come to the French capital to show resolve. A new threat to Americans overseas. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul has received credible reports that an attack in Kabul is imminent within the next two days. The embassy is urging U.S. citizens to exercise extreme caution. Fox's Jessica Gallagher in our Middle East Bureau. Kobe Bryant is calling it a career. It takes a load off my shoulders and everybody else's, and um, I mean, it's just the right thing to do. The L.A. Lakers star announcing his retirement after this season. Bryant is 37. He has five championship rings. Fox News, we report, you decide. every school bus and class. I go to school with your children. We say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is closer than you think. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me, quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Howdy folks, R.L. Hemp to tell you about Dairy Queen and Silver Springs current specials. These folks are on fire, or at least their real char grill is, cooking up some tasty specials. Their five buck lunch specials are unreal, including bacon cheeseburgers, flamethrower burgers for the brave, chicken strips, and chicken wraps, all including fries, drinks, and a sundae. Nobody else does it like that but Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where they always treat you like kings and queens. Where am I going to hide the presents so my family can't see what I've got them for Christmas? Hey, I know. Neighborhood Storage has units for only $20 till the end of the year. Yep, Elf Storage. Hee <laughs> hee With 20 locations, Neighborhood Storage is easy to find and use and only $20. Elf Storage. <clears throat> I mean, Neighborhood Storage. So rent it, say W-O-C-A, and get a free t-shirt. Hee <laughs> hee Neighborhood Storage. I like it. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, Yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we we do that. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. 
What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location. 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!